to the Zelda Mario, Mario Zelda, Zelda Mario, I don't know, Princess Peach, Lady Zelda, Link, Super Mario, Super Luigi Bros, everybody bros, and we all know that the games that started these adventures that we all take to save the princess at the end of the game How do you started get yourself with a princess? Super Mario and the Legend of Zelda. How do you get yourself a princess, runner? The the people well, have first, asked. The people have asked, runner. First thing you gotta how do, do you get yourself is a princess. Fight hard through every single level of your life. At the beginning, you might get a couple turtles, a couple Koopas, you might get a mushroom, and you will guarantee to grow. After you touch that first pole, the second pole must be easier. The third pole must be flying fish, and the fifth pole must be defeating your own enemies, which were the Koopas. And when the Koopas got defeated, little Link came out and looked for a girl named Zelda because Zelda got kidnapped, which was his wife or his girlfriend or whoever she was. Everybody was nuts about Zelda. Isn't it true, Gunner, that she was princess of her own island? Well, metaphorically speaking, yes. You know, there is Koopas and kidnappings. But in real life, in 2023, people don't get kidnapped by giant lizards unless of course you're talking spiritually but when we come back we're gonna go to a quick commercial break yeah when we well, come back wait a minute we haven't even teach explained you the to them truth we, we about told them about getting it. your own princess see koopa is and we're like gonna expose a mini Godzilla. the truth and teach you how to get yourself a princess how many times have we told them that but we will tell them that but first thing we got to do is tell them that koopa is just Godzilla's great grandmother, or something like that. Either way, they know they all know how to uh, exhale flames for some reason. I don't know if it's dragon breath. Maybe the night before they had a bunch of nasty food, and then they wake up and it's like whoo, dragon breath. Or and ladies, we will also teach you <laughs> how to get your own plumber, Mario. And was it Zelda? And was it Ganon oh, sending her pretty boy hero through like his Link. own Link, like you know, an address? And and he addressed her in a way to where they could never separate. So that was after Ganon captured her and taken her prisoner for many, many years. But we're going to tell you about all these things and so much more. So much more. But not until after these, these commercial, commercial breaks. breaks. Welcome to Altenit Carne Asada Tacos. Hey, did you have the speaker on? I want to order something, man. Hey, why don't you quiet and tell me what you hey, want? Uh, do you have a carne asada tacos? Okay, five carne asada tacos. We got you covered, homie. Oh, the package. Do the package come with a guacamole? Hey, quiet. We'll give you some guacamole sauce when we come to the window. Can I have a Corona to go? I don't need carne asada burgers. <laughs> yes, everybody, we are back and we're going to tell you how to slug a home run when it comes to being with the ladies. So let's talk about how Zelda overcame Link's mind when Link rescued her. She said, look at me, Link. I'm taking you to the missing Link in your life, and I will fulfill it with my life. And he took a look at that, and he said, wait a minute. I am going to take you over, girl. So you do what I say. But then she was like, down. yes, you can have all of this and the kingdom and me. And then, Zelda, after if that, you complete these tasks, there was a guy named Super Mario. Super Mario had a brother named Luigi. Luigi was always kind of hanging back, but Super Mario was the man who made through the whole first 
Super Mario Bros. game by himself. If he had to, if he had enough quarters to pass it, then you would be able to access the ending. The simple but yet memorable ending was... Thank you, Fire Yara. The princess is here. And, and yes. then at the end, you actually got to grab the princess and say, Hello, lady. I'm going to marry you. You are going to my kingdom, and we're going to build this kingdom out of psychedelic mushrooms, just like Alice in Wonderland and the whole world. And so everybody was happy. And, and she too the ending said, was, uh, it was like, it was the greatest. You must do these tasks in order to win my affection. Wait a minute. And that is true. Both Link and Zelda's princess, mm-hmm. they both had to do some tasks. So, Lenny's, what we're saying is... Get your butt a task list. Get your task list and get it done. <laughs> and hurry up, man. Does because it... the longer you take, the, get it the done. more sleep she will appear to be. And then once she wakes up, when you're done with the task list, then the reward will be inclined as it should. The reward will be babies. A future, a wife, a yeah. house, yes, a yes, home, uh huh, a good life, marriage, and the good life and the good future and grandkids. What, what a good future is something that could foretell yourselves in the future as well. So as we all foretell ourselves in the future, it always happens. I mean, you know, procreation is just a recreation of the little field that we used to play when we didn't wear gloves and yes, stuff. Yes, but ladies... And I used either, to throw the balls free to all of them. Ladies you know, everybody know was time to play pickle. that there's two kinds of men. There's more than two kinds, but <laughs> two of those kinds are the plumber. The plumber! Who is Mario, a big fat <laughs> guy <laughs> with the mustache who <laughs> is a plumber. <laughs> the plumber. <laughs> and then it's also me, there's the Mario. pretty boy hero with the long hair and the blue eyes He's, Luigi. Then that's Link. That's what Link does. Luigi jumps Little pretty Luigi. boy, you know. Mario is definitely not a pretty boy. Can we can we get that straight right? Mario's not a pretty boy. Well, it doesn't matter because he probably makes a way plumber. better pizza than Link can ever make. I think Link couldn't probably even touch a tomato without uh, making it blow up and messing it all up. So... I mean, Mario is a pretty good hero. Yeah, in my, he, he can make spaghetti. In, in my thoughts, I think Mario's pretty damn good. And he could jump on dinosaurs, knock them in the head, and make them become... He could become the master of those dinosaurs. Just like uh, Fred Finso did with Dino. Something like that. That's just an example. But that's what I'm saying, you know? And they're both uh, great in character and in um, replacing yes. the evil man conquering her whole... Life. Okay, but then but they, how, at the end, how are, they can conquer. How are these people directly related with humanity in real life? This well, is how, everybody, because a princess uh-huh. is set in the hearts of men. Isn't she, though? And big eyes, that's what you got to remember is eye contact, everybody. All day. Have some eye contact. If you want a princess. All day. No princess has ever got with a prince because he was looking away when he should have been making direct eye contact, making it smooth. At a certain point of Laying down that confidence. Eye contact, laying down that confidence, saying, yo, you know, my life is good. My life is strong. There's some cornerstones in my life, and I built my foundation on that. Yeah. Nothing can make this fall, but pride is not in my hearts either, so I will not tell you about it. So you can see it through my eyes. That is what Mario did. That is what Zelda did. That is what Mario. Link did, I mean, to Zelda. That's what you should do, ladies. Also, Runner. Get all the links. How about you tell them you about that, those too, times, That's what I'm saying. That one time that I don't know what you you're talking about. eye contact but... with that one girl. There was, was not odd. too many times, but I mean, there was probably plenty or more times, but I mean, yeah, it happens. And then you just have to embrace the the connection that you have to feel. Either you do or you don't. And if you do, then it's really good for you. But if you don't, you could still explain the way she looks into your eyes and the way you feel about her. Yes. And then if you are nice to her. And if you buy her the right drinks and stuff, and it's the right setting as well, it doesn't have to do with, you know, if you're in a park or something, or if you're just walking down the street, it can be, it has to be in a really nice setting. And after that, you can tell the girl, I feel like 
I want to freaking extend the night. And if you want to extend the night, you have to stay in the correct way as well. And then after all that happens, you know, Link will take Zelda to wherever hotel she wanted in the whole Los Angeles area. And I mean, I've been Link and I understand Zelda's perspective as well. So, Mario's I mean, got money too. that was the good life. And uh, Gunner's going to tell you how you could do it as well from Mario's perspective. Yes. It is true that you just got to have the environment. Link's definitely got the environment. You know, if you show a lady some good environment, it's on. It is on. Kingdoms and stuff. Didn't uh, Princess Peach have some kind of kingdom as well? Just like Zelda. Yep. If you just uh, show her some environment. And show her that she is beyond the peach. And, you know, uh, you just got to, like, be an awesome, stellar person. But it's like, environment, it does a lot. It, look at Link when he shows his woman the environment and Zelda's there. Mm -hmm. But you're not a freaking cartoon character. So why don't you go take your lady to see some sights, even if it's some buildings, even if it's some hills. If it's some grassy, beautiful hills, like, guess what? She's going to respond. Right, ladies? You're going to respond to some grassy, beautiful hills. Of course they will, because hills, hills are hills. And they, they, that's what they love. With plummeting depths and lily pads and flowers. Of course they do. Of course. That's what it's all, all about. Time. So get yourself some environment, everybody out there. And remember that you are the man. And to be the man. To be the man, you must be the man. You got to be the man. Yeah, you got to demand that. You're hey, leader. stuff is where we're going. You want to do this tonight? All right. Well, I don't want to do that. So it's the same thing. And the ladies have to know that they have their parts as well. The girls, they are the lovers. They are the carriers and they are providers. And they are all the same to us in every single way. So we just take them as well and embrace them. And then we heroize them by taking their whole breath out of their system. How do we do that? By not dissing them and keeping them right next to our sides. And when they get threatened, it's time to step up and pull out the weapons. Yes. And remember, it takes time. You know, babies take time. You know, so if you start having babies, then it's going to take some time. Just remember that, that life is time. So take your time. Yeah. Get, get, start getting it done. Get the one who you want. Start getting it done. Ladies. You know what it's like. Do you do ladies want plumbers, or do they want pretty boys, or do they want you know um, guys with beards and tattoos? Well, I like think freaking um, Kratos. I think after actually or like cowboys, like actually, Arthur. Option, option like option E, and I I heard what you were saying, but I think option E would probably Arthur be Morgan, a lot a, a non Lenny, which would be probably Arthur Morgan with about four. You know, four little... All the types of guys that ladies revolver. like. Ladies, you know what we're talking about. Just pick one, Lenny, guys, and be it, and be cool. But remember, it's all about the environment. It's all about paying attention to detail. Detail! It's all about having money. Money! A job. Job! A place to lay your head. A place to lay her down. And also be awesome. And be the coolest guy that she can ever respect. And the ladies, too, the ladies know that they got to pick the right guy that's not going to punch her in the face. Say hello to this guy who has been dealing drugs since he was 12. And all I deal with is people that are angry. And I'm angry every day. I want you to be my girlfriend, girl. And I will start punching you in the face at whatever time he comes to me. So, yes. whatever time she came, he would punch her in the face. And so that's how you can tell the difference between Koopa the... and Mario. Yeah, exactly. Like Cuz Mario would beat up Koopa and Koopa would be a Mario. Yeah, so that gets us to the question, you know, like some girls, some princesses like Koopa and maybe some princesses want to be kidnapped by Koopa. 
Mm-hmm. But those are the girls that have tattoos. Oh, there's a lot of free princesses. And you could always Kuba. tell one of those girls by how many tattoos she has. Lenny's out there, gentlemen out there. When a lady has too many tattoos. What do you say? If you don't got as many tattoos, don't ever let a lady have more tattoos than you. Don't ever date a chick with more tattoos than you. Wait a minute, Gunner. Are you sending them a warning? Yes, this is what I'm saying, Lenny's out there. (laughs) Don't (laughs) ever date. (laughs) And you can can put this in code, put it in writing. Runner and Gunner said it first. Don't ever date a lady with more tattoos than you. All right? Unless you want to be prepared for the ride of your life. Unless you want to be prepared for the ride of flesh. And you probably ain't going to win because she has more tattoos than you. If she does, then you need to freaking get down with the ink. You if know, she does, then you better get down with the ink. That's all I'm such saying. Thing as Koopas, my only, my the only suggestion be would be Koopas. get down with the ink. Let the Koopas get does. down with the ink. When the Koopas want to get down with the ink, let the Koopas get down with the ink. Don't the date Koopas. a Koopa. Yeah, don't date a Koopa. In case there's a princess who likes a Koopa, don't date her. They all do. What you want to date Wait a minute. The a difference princess. is that the princesses, all uh, all the princesses actually like Koopas. But and don't so, they like I mean, plumbers? Like, well, it depends. I mean, not really. It depends how good the plumber can make pizza and... Well, how can, how can uh, Koopa amazing plumb. he is at, at um plunging turtles. You know, Koopa's toilet's backed up. Yeah, but he probably could buy Domino's any day of his life. He could he could have all the pizza sent to his house, put a couple dollars and put his premium account, which he already has because he eats every pizza in town anyways, as it is. All right. But so I'm just saying So there's the poll, ladies. Koopa, Mario or Link, what what is your choice of man? Who is the man that could save the princess first? Which one actually? The the the, the question actually is which one would actually improve your life the most if you had him on your side, ladies? Actually, and we're that's just, what we're, we're just saying. saying the one that like captures your heart the most. Yeah. Okay. All right. Koopa, right, Mario, so or Link. Give us, give us a couple minutes. We're gonna have to um, scramble through these things, and we're gonna let our sponsors do a little something right now. Yes, we know before Koopa's got the come appeal, back with the bad everything. Boy appeal. Yeah, because it's gonna take a couple minutes, so we might as well let a couple. You know, let's let's let these stupid idiots that sponsor us. Um, let's give them a couple air, to, air seconds. So, run the gunner. We'll be back. And we will let you know the polls of the dopeness that we were just talking about. What do we say? Koopa versus Link. So, we're going to let you guys know everything and a whole lot more after after these these commercial breaks. breaks. Footlocker. 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 happening at Foot Locker. Now at Foot Locker, you get your Foot Locker Nikes for only $59.99. $59.99? Oh, man. This is including the Air Nike Jordans. Oh, I'm going to try them on. The Air Nike Super Jordans. Wait, they don't fit. What do I do? The Air Nike Super Spectaculars. Can I get them for 50% off? The courtside Shaquille O'Neal's. Oh, the O'Neal. The Jordan Jordan Jordans. The quadruple Jordans? Yo, man, I'm how could I get on. myself a couple of Jordans? I have them all, but I mean, you gotta wait for me after I'm done testing them. Well, get yourself down to the Foot Locker right now, and you can get yourself some Air Jordans for only fifty nine ninety nine. Fifty nine ninety nine. The savings keep on piling up thanks to the new Spring Deal. Spring is here, and it's a big deal. Prices growing out of the flowers. Also available in original prices at one hundred fifty nine ninety nine. I like my Jordans. Yes, everybody, welcome back. Welcome Before back we go, to the Brenner Gunner Show. We're going to tell you how to get your princess ending. in three direct three, steps. One, but before we get to those steps, zero, we want to tell you those steps are that Koopa is the G. All the Koopa ladies is the G. Want, who that has the step, most babies? Okay, so step Koopa. number one. Koopa is the G. 
I mean, he has so many baby's Baby, moms, baby's and the baby's moms are all disappearing. And the sad thing is, you know, when 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 the black widow eats the the black male widow, that's what happens. The she has the baby, and then she murders the father and eats him up. That's kind of like what the Koopa family is. And the Koopa family Cannibals. had so many freaking kids. Koopa went insane, and he became bigger than Godzilla was ever. King Kong <laughs> had nothing on him. So, I mean, so I guess Koopa you was probably the Mario. biggest sucker of all time. I mean, Link didn't have babies, so you definitely don't want to be him. You don't want to be a pretty boy who don't have no babies. Yeah, know? well, you might have to. I mean, sometimes, hey, whatever happens, you happens. You did lay it down because in every the country thing about in Link this town. that is different to me is that he actually had he a sword. He macked with every chick. Remember, he macked with the fish girl. He macked with the desert girl. Yeah. He macked with the... Uh, the dinosaur girl. See, but I'm saying the he most... He with the graveyard girl. He yes, ma- but the most important thing was in the interview I seen with Link, with the actual character Link, and he said, you know, what did you do with all these girls that were so different? And what did he say? I stabbed them all. And that's what happened. <laughs> and that's how the whole world changed when it came to Link and Zelda. But Mario, though, on the other hand, he's a plumber. He's short, he's fat, he's got a big mustache. Oh, yeah. And some of the ladies so love catchable. that. And let me tell you, Mario's got some, and if you ask a lady, Mario's got some secret tattoos. Ask a lady where they are. Mario is Yo, the I never appeal. Heard of that. Ladies love him. He wants to be with the ladies. Does he have kids? No, he doesn't. So the main thing we're talking about is Link actually... Kids survived with his princess and made her his wife. Mario! Mario is the ugliest sucker of all time, and he freaking made it and still married his princess. Still married So her. what happened was that everybody married their princesses at the end of the games. If you Except ever played these games to the end, Koopa never did anything, but yeah, he fell to his demise over and over, but, but he, he just kept babies. surviving. He kept surviving. So there you go, everybody. Koopa has babies, but he doesn't he get a wife. He does have babies, but he doesn't Mario's have a wife. Mario's got a wife, and Link is a pretty boy with nobody. Yeah, Link has Link has Peter Pan. Link is Peter Pan. He's got <laughs> Navi. Him and Navi could. Link talk. is kind of cool though. He does rescue Zelda, but he doesn't. He's a soldier, man. Her. He's a soldier. You know, yeah, he, he stabs, goes out there. He stabs kills. bad guys in the head. He could probably kill Koopa and Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he gets special swords. And the special swords give him special abilities. And the special abilities, of course, would And he's skinny. Stab. The other two are fat. Unless, unless he couldn't jump over the fireballs from Koopa or the fireballs thrown from Mario. He you definitely see, can. So he probably cannot. He doesn't jump high. You and see, I don't Mario think does jump high. could block a sword. Mario's, he, but he could jump over them if... If he had somebody skilled enough to jump over them but over and over. Link's shield could definitely block Mario's fists. And Ganon's fireball. I mean, and Koopa's fireballs. Wait a minute. Ganon was invincible. He was one of the hardest characters ever so, to kill of oh, all time. He's like a ghost. There and he go. appears and reappears. In, in, There's another. And you gotta keep stabbing and stabbing to kill him. It's hard. Next week. Ganon is hard. To next kill. show, we're gonna do. Do the ladies like Ganon more or Koopa more? Koopa! I think Koopa's gonna win. Ganon don't got no kids. I'm telling you, Koopa's got kids. The ladies Koopa's love got him. Kids. Ladies are in love with Koopa. Yes. It is a true story. And Ganon so, has nobody. Thank you, everybody, for watching the Runner and Getter Runner show. show. We just wanted to tell you how to get your lady. Uh, apparently, look to Koopa. Be more All like him. All you gotta do is be more like Koopa. Be like Koopa be amazing, without being and evil. don't forget to. You know? Maybe not just disrespect take a Koopa standpoint a, on life super respectful. without being evil or going to jail yeah, or incriminating. Exactly. You know? But just take I mean, a Koopa standpoint. Like, I will all take it what I Koopa want step forward. because you know, it is one, mine to take. One step for prosperity and one step for Koopa over. And then once you do that, you will be part of the greatest impact in life. <laughs> That's what we were telling you, and that's what we were bringing in running in our show. We're just telling you that King Koopa was probably crazier than Ganon, because Ganon never had kids, and Ganon just probably stood on his own and didn't do anything correctly. So, Ganon didn't have kids. 
Mario ended up marrying Princess and Mega Man don't got kids. And Marrying Zelda. Koopa's and what did got they do kids. at the end of everything when everything was all said and done? I don't know, but every episode Koopa had I'll tell you kids. what they did. What they did was they got it on. Hopefully in the future Mario will have kids with Princess and we'll get a new video game going. That's what happened. Did Don- so Mario- Donkey Kong didn't have kids either. Oh, John Marston had kids. Echo the Dolphin, did he have kids? Yes, everybody, every lady out there. Thank you for listening. We got to go. Have kids. Make kids, make babies, make love. Mick Levin. Peace and out, everybody. Fight each other and spread rabies and all that stuff. Woo! Love is the love and love is the key and the key is happiness. And happiness only lives on one day of the week. What day? Monday. Monday. Of the show. You are now or have been listening to. We would like to add any involvement with similar subjects in the show are completely coincidental and may or may not be facts. We would also like to thank you, Lennox.